What works to grow your Instagram following today is completely different than what it was even just six months ago. So this is my account six months ago and I was kind of stagnant and stuck and now this is my account today. So everything I'm gonna share with you in this video is exactly how I have grown my account and more than anything, really grown my engagement. I felt like I wasn't even getting found in the algorithm. It felt like only a tiny fraction of my audience was able to see my posts just six months ago and now I'm racking up a lot more engagement on my photos. So in this video, I'm gonna share the four factors to owning the Instagram algorithm and my post less, reach more strategy. Let's bring it back to January 22nd of 2019 when Instagram released this statement. Instagram tweeted, what shows up first in your feed is determined by what posts and accounts you engage with the most, as well as other contributing factors, such as the timeliness of your posts, how often you use Instagram, how many people follow you, etc. We have not made any recent changes to feed ranking and we never hide posts from people you're following. If you keep scrolling, you will see them all. Again, your feed is personalized to you and evolves over time based on how you use Instagram. Interesting thing to note here is that Instagram actually hasn't really changed at all. Their algorithm may seem like it's gone through ups and downs, but it really hasn't changed all that much. It's how we interact with it and how saturated the platform became with using the same strategy over and over and over again. So the key really to owning the Instagram algorithm is understanding the algorithm and understanding that it's pretty much remained the same from day one. It's just that we have to adapt how we use it. So four things to note are, in the statement it said posts and accounts you engage with the most, timeliness of posts, how often you use Instagram, and how many people you follow. I paid super close attention to those key phrases within that statement and started implementing some changes on my account and that's really what led to skyrocketing growth and engagement on my account. So let's dive in to those four things. Let's start from the bottom up. So the first thing is how many people you follow. Now, before you go and follow like 1500 people at once, that's not really what this means. It's more so about looking at Instagram as a business because it is a business after all, and the business is built on social interaction and retention on the platform, meaning how long are people staying on the platform? And if you can get people to stay on the platform, then Instagram's going to like you a lot as an account and benefit you in the algorithm. So a couple things that I do, you may have noticed that in every one of my YouTube videos, I always say, take a screenshot, you can do that right now, and share it out on Instagram and tag me. When you do that, which a lot of you do, so thank you, you tag me and it shows up in my DMs and I'm able to comment back and forth with you. And that shows Instagram that I'm keeping people on the platform, I'm actually driving people to the platform and I'm creating relationships within the platform which increases the retention, which increases the worth really of the business because the more retention, the more people on the platform, the more advertisers want to work with Instagram. So that's one big thing. Other little tricks to create real relationships and less about following, more about relationships is DMing people out of the blue. So when people follow me, sometimes I'll just send them a voice note and say, hey, welcome, uh, how's it going? And start a conversation, because again, it's keeping people on the platform and I get to build real relationships. The other thing is in my stories, I'll do polls or I'll ask questions and that spurs engagement with my account. So it's showing Instagram that I'm actually building a solid foundation with my audience and I'm I care about building relationships as opposed to just distributing content. So what happened was, and the way that we were interacting with Instagram that wasn't working is we were using it just to distribute content and wait for the likes to roll in. That's no longer how you can use Instagram. Now you have to use it super actively. So you, when you're doing a post, ask questions in the comments, get people to comment on your post, comment back and forth with them, create that sense of engagement, comment in the DMs, create conversations in the DMs, don't sit back and wait because Instagram wants you to show the platform that you're actually creating retention. So that's tip number one to owning the algorithm. Tip number two that was made very clear in that statement from Instagram is timeliness of posts. That one little phrase really triggered me. What I started experimenting with about six months ago was I stopped curating my feed. I stopped taking these picture perfect, highly edited photos, and I went for real raw in the moment photos. And guess what? Those photos 
and videos have 10x the engagement what my perfectly curated feed had before. So you have to think about the facts here. Instagram is called Instagram for a reason. It is about capturing your life in videos and photos in real time. So right here, right now. That was the whole ethos and purpose of the platform when it first started. So I'm not saying you have to do every photo in the moment right now because you still want it to be quality and you want to have a caption that really engages people. But having more real, raw, authentic looking photos is an amazing strategy today to get more engagement and get more reach with your content. So think about the value of Instagram as a platform itself and how we all used to use it when it first started, which was taking photos wherever we were, posting them up and not thinking much about it as opposed to spending like five hours editing a photo and then posting it. It seems and appears based on my experiment that Instagram is moving more so towards in the moment, raw, authentic moments. And that's what's really working in the algorithm right now. The other part about that statement that was a big clue was how often you use Instagram is it's also about the amount of time you keep people on your posts. So you know it works as far as photo, video content, moving towards real, more authentic uh, imagery. But the other thing is having longer form captions, which is something that I've started experimenting with and seen in amount of results from is a big factor. Why? Because if someone is sitting there reading your caption, what does it mean? It means you're keeping people on the platform longer and also keeping people on your content, your posts longer, which tells Instagram that this must be a really good piece of content if people are spending that much time on it. So the length of your captions is also a really important factor and storytelling, weaving stories into them. You can look at all of mine to get some ideas and some prompts, but it's a really good way to boost you in the algorithm as well if you're keeping your eyeballs on there for longer. So I don't know about you, but trying to think of a really great photo, video, and caption on a daily basis, I literally would get nothing else done. And I used to use that strategy. I used to post every single day of the week. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. If you can do that and you have the bandwidth to do that, great. But I'm about quality over quantity. I do the same thing here on YouTube. I would rather put out a piece of content that I know is guaranteed to get reach because I know I've done every single step behind the scenes to get that reach. So when it says how often you use Instagram, it's not saying you have to post every single day. I actually at this point post the least I've ever posted, yet my account is growing the fastest it's ever grown. And so this is where my post less, reach more strategy comes into play. What I mean by this is you wanna be very strategic and intentional with the posts that go on your feed and post them in a way that you know is going to get engagement. So I made a whole other video on this on how I post Instagram with all of the steps involved to max out your engagement and reach. So you're gonna wanna check that out afterwards. We'll put it in the links below. But outside of that, it's about using stories. So I don't post on my feed every single day, but I pretty much use stories on Instagram every single day. Why? Well, as I said earlier, the more that I use stories, the more I'm keeping people on the platform and the more I'm building the retention on the platform for my audience, which then shows Instagram that I have an engaged audience and that they should push me in the algorithm more. So you don't have to be posting every day on your feed, but you should be active in some way, shape or form on your stories on a daily basis. I also have a video on Instagram story hacks, which should help you with that. We'll link to that in the description below as well. But just think about being on it and not necessarily having to post every day, but being on it in an intentional way, sharing value, even if it's just on your stories or doing live streams, because all of that leads to people being on the platform longer, which of course, Instagram loves. The final piece is posts and accounts you engage with, which was said in this statement as well. So there's a couple things here. One factor is getting people to engage with your posts, obviously, which I mentioned, I made a whole video on exactly how to do that to max out your reach with your posts. So check that out in the description below. But the other piece here is that it's again telling you that if you want to own the Instagram algorithm, and Instagram's literally telling you this in the statement, if you pay really close attention, this is what I've been experimenting with over the last six months and you've seen the growth that I've had, if you are using the platform actively, meaning that on a daily basis, something that I do is I go in and I comment and I like and I share content from other accounts. Because again, that tells Instagram that I'm actually using the platform, I'm actually active on it, and I'm influencing my audience because the things that I'm sharing, they're getting more involved in, they're sharing that content on their stories, et cetera, et cetera. So doesn't mean you have to be on the platform every single day. I usually map out 10 minutes a day to go in and engage with accounts with a similar audience to mine, 
talk to people in the comments of some of the posts and captions on these accounts to further my reach and to build more relationships and get people over to my account. But 10 minutes max, that's all you need. So go and engage with other accounts outside of your own because again, that's keeping people on the platform, it's keeping you on the platform, and it's telling Instagram that they should favor your, your account because you are actually active and you're not sitting back waiting for people to come to you, which is a strategy that just does not work anymore. I wanted to share one final note with you that I think should be really encouraging because when it, when it comes to building your personal brand, especially online, there are so many factors that go into it and there's a lot of advice out there to look perfect, have a perfect aesthetic, get a photo shoot done, et cetera, et cetera, which all of those things can work, but I am noticing a big trend, especially in my own experiments and on my own account of reversing and going back to real raw and authentic content, as I mentioned earlier, and seeing the engagement spike when I did pieces like that. Another account that I follow who I love, Jenna Kutcher, she's a friend of mine and just an amazing human and content creator. And she did a post recently that shows you just how fake and misleading Instagram can be and just how much people are craving real and raw content. And her post went a little bit viral. So I want you to take a look at this. She's basically showing that within a couple of seconds, she was able to alter what her face looks like and her body looks like using an app on her phone. And then she could just share that altered version up on Instagram and people went crazy over it because we all know that this is happening and we're all craving real. So don't be afraid to show up as who you are authentically, real, raw, that's what people want now. We're sick of seeing Photoshopped, same aesthetic, same preset all day, every day. It's not interesting anymore. So take it from someone who has almost a million followers on Instagram, Jenna, and the trends that she's moving towards and for me too in doing these experiments i've really realized what the platform is favoring and it is favoring more authentic content so i hope this helps you in building your personal brand let me know what tip you're going to take from this and actually start implementing if you haven't subscribed yet make sure that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when i post new videos every single week and i wanted to acknowledge our comment of the week i read your comments i appreciate them so much i know there's a million other channels out there so i love and appreciate that you are here with me and watching this content and I hope that it's making a difference in your business your brand and your life that's what I'm here to do so thank you thank you thank you for all of your comments thanks so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video